All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. I'm gonna try this with them just sitting on my hand, but we're not sure if it's gonna work. This is a Cuban brown and all. Um, the brown and all versus the green and all. The green and all is the one that you often see in pet stores called a chameleon. Not a true chameleon. There are the uh, the green and all, which uh, can turn brown as well. This one is actually the brown and all from down in Cuba and uh, Bahamas. That's where it's originally from. Like the pet shop chameleon, the green and all, they were uh, you know, often sold as pets. So uh, whether they escaped or people released them, they're kind of across the uh, southern United States right now, and then also in Taiwan. Um, I found them in Florida. I found them when I lived in New Orleans, and I've also found them now in Texas. Um, the brown and all can just be called the brown and all, the Cuban brown and all, the Bahamian and all, or uh, de las Sagras and all. So these guys actually, when they get to compete with uh, the green and all for food and habitat and stuff, they kind of take over pretty well. They're uh, considered an invasive species. The green and all seem to uh, resort to heading up into the um, treetops more. Yep. Okay, he just made it about 10 feet away. <laughs> Ooh, and he's trying to, okay, he just bit me too. So like I said, I was gonna try it with him sitting there, but I mean, this guy is completely wild. Somehow we caught him last night. I've never really seen him have any nocturnal tendencies before. But we were out actually looking for some uh, common house geckos last night. And we found this guy and I said, whoa. So uh, these guys can kind of go from a, a light brown to a dark brown. He's got a pretty good grip on me again there. You can see him actually dangle from my finger with his bite. This one I believe is a, a male. They'll lay eggs. Um, their diet's going to be a lot of different kinds of insects and such. Um, pretty much anything they can uh, they can chase down and catch, whether it's uh, smaller lizards, um, lizard eggs, different insects. If they're by water, they're pretty good at hunting by water as well. So they'll do that. They're super fast. Uh, when these guys get charged up by the sun and get on a run, um, they're super fast. I've uh, usually if I can find an animal. I can do a pretty good job of catching it, but these guys often you'll see them and pew, they'll be completely gone. So, uh, you know, as a defense mechanism, their tails can break off. These guys kind of, uh, this guy's got a kink here. I'm not sure if the tip broke off and it regrew or what, but uh, these guys kind of have a more flat tail too compared to the green and all. And this guy too, the males will have a little dewlap. Let me see. There we go. See that? So they're going to put that out, and they'll sit there and twitch their heads out in the sun, try to attract females and stuff like that. Yeah, I was going to give them a, try to let them just sit in my hand again, but I think he's going to be gone. So uh, these guys, like I said, they, they do use them in the pet trade. They, they do make pets, but they're not really uh, a pet you're going to hang out with as much, like a bearded dragon or something. They're more one just to kind of keep in a, keep in a cage and look at. On the back, they actually have a slight pattern. This guy's a little light right now, but there's a whole little kind of diamond pattern all the way down the back, which uh, helps people tell the difference between it and uh, just a green anole that happens to be uh, brown. So where the green anole, you know, often called a pet shop chameleon, they'll go from you know like a lime green to a light brown. These guys pretty much just go from brown to brown. They can get darker, they can get lighter. But they're not going to have, uh, not going to be green, and they're also not going to uh, be a solid color. They've actually got a, a pattern on them. So I'm going to show you that dewlap one more time. Oh, he's got his mouth open. And uh, all right, first one I ever caught in Texas. So pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you: don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.